Welcome to the Life Coaching Podcast. Today's episode is about the importance of self-love. Why is it that we don't know anything about self-love? Well, no one's ever taught us to love ourselves, which is why many of us don't even consider the possibility of loving ourselves because we don't even know what it is. We need to understand that it's a very foreign concept. While it should be something that ought to be taught and passed on from generation to generation, as well as something that we want to practice daily. Now, why is that? Unless you practice self-love, you will not be able to truly love someone else. So loving you actually helps you to love others in a deeper and more meaningful way. A good way to find out where you are on the scale of self-love is to look at your relationships. If you don't learn how to love yourself, it will show up in your life, specifically in your relationships. As human beings, we learn about ourselves in interaction with others. If we're not interacting with others, we hardly learn anything about ourselves. It is only in interaction with other people that we are challenged, that we are triggered, that we will be faced with certain emotions and therefore have the opportunity to get to know ourselves, grow and evolve. Being on your own is easy. You're very comfortable being with yourself. You don't have to consider anyone else. No one's around you. You can do whatever you want. You're not being challenged in any way. This makes relationships an amazing playground to learn about ourselves and therefore come closer to our core. I'm going to quote Kyle C's. No one's ever broken your heart. They broke your expectations. And in doing so, they brought you closer to yourself. And that's what happens in relationships when you don't practice self-love. When you don't love yourself, you enter relationships expecting something from a place of need. I need this person to give me something. I'm in it to get something. I need this person to be this or that for me to be happy. I need my partner to always put me first. I need attention, etc. This means entering relationships from a place of lack. You're obviously lacking something and you're trying to fill it up with something from the outside, a partner or a relationship. When we haven't learned to fully love ourselves, we enter relationships having expectations. We go into these relationships from a place of need. Now, we all know that expectations lead to disappointments because another person will never behave or act or say things exactly the way you expect them to simply because they're a different person with a different life, a different background, a different way of thinking, a different opinion, etc. They cannot read your mind. And even if they could, they are not responsible for the way you feel. You are Making someone else responsible for your own happiness is a huge burden that you're putting on this other person, telling them, you better make me happy. I need you to move the way I expect you to move. This neediness can easily turn into control. Now, there's nothing loving about that at all. You need to acknowledge that you're the one coming from a place of lack and now you're making another person responsible for filling that empty feeling inside of you. Now, this doesn't work. It's a recipe for disaster. However, it's a good place to be at because, as I quote, no one's ever broken your heart. They broke your expectations and in doing so, they brought you closer to yourself. So if you're currently in a situation where your expectations are not being met, this is the perfect opportunity for you to get closer to yourself and get closer to loving yourself. So let's say supposedly you are in a situation where somebody broke your expectations and you're not satisfied. How do you go about this? Well, the first step you want to take is acknowledge it. Speak it out. I expected this person to do this or to be that and that didn't happen. And now I feel and complete the sentence. It is important to acknowledge it and express your negative emotions. Once you've acknowledged what happened, identified and expressed your emotions, this is an opportunity for you to go within and learn about the broken pieces within yourself. 
Remember, we only discover ourselves in interaction with others. If you're interacting with someone else and you keep feeling unloved or unwanted or not good enough, that means those feelings are being triggered by this other person and therefore it is your job to now get closer to yourself and find out where these feelings are coming from and why you feel the way you feel. Why are you seeking love? Why are you seeking the love that only you can give to yourself? So the one thing I hope you take away from this episode is that if you start experiencing negative emotions, they are being triggered by your partner or by some other person. But the only reason you're experiencing them is because they are already inside of you and they always have been. And until you heal them, you will keep experiencing the same negative emotions in every following relationship. The only person who's responsible for clearing your negative emotions is you. You cannot put this burden on another person. So let me give you an example. Let's say your partner does something and you get really angry. So you first want to go through the first step of acknowledging what happened and speaking it out. Once you've done that, the questions you want to ask yourself then are, where does this anger come from? Who am I really upset with? Remember, the partner only triggers whatever emotion, in this case anger, has been buried inside of you. What unhealed trauma is this anger linked to? I know we're getting really deep here. Now, as a coach, I would dig even a bit deeper and ask you about your childhood because a lot of the negative emotions that we experience today are linked to some traumatic event that happened in the past that hasn't been healed yet and it is showing up in your relationship with others. So coming back to self-love, it really is about asking yourself these deep, confrontational, hard questions and doing the inner work, healing your inner wounds. The fact that you're willing to look at yourself, take accountability, and stand in your own pain is an act of self-love on its own. Healing your own wounds will then allow you to enter relationships not from a place of need, but from a place of true love because you did the work. And so you loved yourself enough to go within and to look at yourself and to deal with your own pain. So you're no longer bringing your own pain into relationships. You've taken ownership now, you've dealt with your pain, and you're now able to come from a place of love, true love. Thank you for listening, and I hope to see you in the next episode.